Okay, today we are going to practice writing and solving proportions and using the cross multiplication method. I have given you a worksheet that looks like this that I want you to follow along with um, and make sure that you write your answers into this particular piece of paper to turn in. So first we're going to start by reading the problem. It says, a Girl Scout troop uses 14 flashlight batteries on a three night camping trip. If they're planning a seven night trip, how many batteries should they bring? So we're going to fill in our information. We've got 14 batteries on a three night trip. We have an unknown number of batteries on a seven night trip. So I would say that you can go ahead and write this 14 over three. Fourteen over three equals x over seven. So that's step one, which it shows you at the top. Step one was to write out, set up the proportion. So that is what we did. We set up the proportion step one. Step two is to cross multiply and rewrite. So to cross multiply, I'm going to multiply three times X and put it on one side of the equal. I'm going to multiply the 14 times seven and put it on the other side of the equal. So we have done step two, step three, will be to multiply what you can, multiply if possible. So multiplication if possible, three times X is just rewritten as three X. 14 times seven, um, I used a calculator and got 98, I believe, but I will double check it. 14 times seven equals 98. So I will write that answer there. Step four is to use the inverse property, which means that I am doing the opposite of the property that is happening here. So that is, to, that is multiplied by three. The inverse or opposite would be to divide it by three. And since I have moved this three over, the only thing that's left on that side is the X. So I'm going to rewrite that X and I'm going to do 98 divided by three. 98 divided by three, that's not right, because I've already done it. 98 divided by three equals 32.6 repeating. So 32.6 repeating, that's a two. Now, so we're gonna go back over to our ready, this. We're gonna make sure that we've done what we're supposed to. So I'm gonna type these numbers in. 14, enter, three, enter, and it's changing color so I can see that I'm right. X, enter, that's not what I did. X, and seven. All right, so let's, Clear the page. Let's see if I can get this weird X to go away. There we go. So if I recall correctly, my answer that I had came up with was 32.6. 32.6. So I can't keep putting the bars. It says round to the nearest tenth. So 32.66 is closer to 32.7. So that means I need to type in 32.7 as my answer. All right, now we have problem number two. Problem number two reads, three pumps can remove a total of 1,700, 1700 gallons of water every, should say minute from a flooded mine shaft. If engineers want, 
if engineers want to remove at least 55 gallons per minute, how many pumps will they need operating? Okay. So I will say that this one almost got me. Okay. So it's 1700 gallons. Okay. Personally, I think this should be pumps. because really they're not changing the minutes. So it took me a little while to think about this, but this number right here, that means three pumps is doing 17 gallons of water per minute. So I don't like this. Um, they're wanting to know how many pumps, not how many minutes. So just think about that one. Um, so this is three pumps. Let's see, then 5,500 would go up here. and X will go here. So I'm gonna check those and make sure that those are right before I move on to the what you're supposed to be writing down. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. So 1,700 is three pumps and this is 5,500 and we don't know. So that's our unknown pumps, perfect. So those are correct. So 1700 over three, what you're going to record for this one is the same thing. We're going to record our 1700 over three pumps equals 5,500 over X pumps. Okay. That's step one. We have done what we're supposed to do. We've written the um, proportion. Step two, we're going to cross multiply and rewrite. So again, I'm going to cross multiply. I always choose the X to go with first. So that's 1700 times X equals three times 5,500, 5,500. Step three says multiply if possible. So use your Chrome, or not your Chromebook, your calculator. And 1700 times X is just gonna get rewritten because I can't really multiply it. I don't know what X is. So I'm gonna rewrite 1700 X equals whatever 5500 times three is. So 5500 times three equals 1,600 or 1,000, 16,500. Okay, step three is to use that inverse operation. So that means I'm going to use the opposite of multiplication, because see this is being multiplied, and I'm going to move that to the other side in order to isolate the variable X. That means that X is what's left and the answer will be whatever 16,500 divided by 1700 is. And it is still gross too, but it wants to round to the nearest 10th. So the nearest 10th is seven looks at zero, so it stays zero. So we're going to end up with 9.7 as our answer, 9.7. All right, so let's go back over to our work and make sure that this works correctly. So we ended up solving this one and the answer was 9.7 and it changed colors. So we're done with day one.